In this video, I will explain how to get certified by Adobe as an associate in graphic design and illustration using Adobe Illustrator. This tutorial is part of a comprehensive online course called Adobe Illustrator Masterclass. You can check it out and try the free trial if you want to learn everything there is to know about this amazing industry standard application. Studying from this course will not only teach you everything you need to know about Adobe Illustrator, but it will also help you to get an official qualification proving your proficiency with this software. Adobe has a two-level certification system. The entry level is called Adobe Certified Associate or ACA and the advanced examination is the Adobe Certified Expert or ACE. In this video we will be focusing on the requirements and the preparation process of the ACA exam but if you are interested in the expert exam check out my ACE preparation training courses on yesimadesigner.com before we go into the details about the exam, I wanted to talk a bit about whether it is worth getting certified in the first place and how recognized these qualifications are in the creative industry. The way I see it is that even if employers are not asking for the certification all the time, having the ACA in your CV will definitely reinforce your technical understanding and that your skills are up to date. I cannot promise that passing this exam will grant you a job straight away, but doing it will definitely be a major step towards it. So the full name of this exam is Graphic Design and Illustration using Adobe Illustrator. This certification is available for the Creative Cloud version of Illustrator and it stays current for three years after the date of issue. It means you only have to recertify every three years. And that is mainly because Adobe applications are constantly being developed. So there's always new features coming up and sometimes even core features change. The ACA exam at the moment of recording this video consists of 39 questions, most of which are technical and around 25% theoretical. You will have 50 minutes to answer everything and the current pass rate is 70%, which means you will need to be able to answer minimum 28 out of 39 questions correctly. The five main areas tested in the exam are setting project requirements, identifying design elements used when preparing graphics, understanding Adobe Illustrator, create graphics using Adobe Illustrator and archive, export and publish graphics using Adobe Illustrator. Topics 3, 4 and 5 are the technical side of the exam. This part is tested by performance-based questions simulating Illustrator in a browser. So it's essentially requiring you to complete a task or perform a function and it will really feel like you are using Illustrator. Once you watch all the videos of the Masterclass course, practice with the provided exercise files and successfully go through the quizzes about each chapter, then your technical understanding of the application should be way above the necessary level to answer the questions of these three areas. On the other hand, the theory-based questions will mainly come up in the first two topics and they will consist of linear-based questions that can be either true or false, multiple choice or matching formats. There is an exam preparation PDF also included with this course and in that you will find much more useful information about all of these topics and on top of reminders of the technical features that we go through, you will also be able to learn about all the necessary terms and theories from the first two topics. Once you get there and feel ready to schedule your exam, you will first need to find an authorized testing center near you. These centers are run by the company called Certiport, so it's best to visit their site to find out more about closest centers to you and the available dates. The good thing is that you immediately get your results at the end of the exam and you will also get an email with your certification. 
On top of that, you also receive badges when passing an exam, which you will be able to share online through a portal called Acclaim. Getting certified by Adobe is a big step in your creative career, but it is not enough on its own. Either you are planning to get an internship or a full-time design job, you will also need to be able to present your portfolio with a selection of your best work. Now, if you are just starting out, then this might be difficult, but don't worry, as I have a few useful tips and advice that I'm going to share with you at the end of this course.